What's up, everybody? It is August 2nd, and this is episode 23 of The Daily Comic. I'm Jimmy Bird, and this is a show where I read one comic book a day and then come here and tell you what I think of that comic. Today's comic is The Seeds, number one. Boom. Can you see it there? Yes. The Seeds from Burger Books, number one. It is a four-issue miniseries. Um, this is probably the most anticipated comic release this week. I was very excited about this coming out. Um, and Nacenti, if I'm saying that correctly, a 30-year veteran or plus of the comic book industry. She was a big part of a lot of the DC comics in the 80s. And then uh, David Aha, who, um, along with Matt Fraction, helmed one of my favorite all-time modern comics, uh, Hawkeye, My Life is a Weapon. Um, so these guys are back. And they're together, and they're with Burger Books, which is an imprint of Dark Horse. And i trying to figure out what to say about this comic. I read it twice, um, not because I didn't get it or there was something kind of hard or difficult to understand. It was just really beautiful and really well thought out. Um, so basically the story is... It's kind of a, a future futuristic tale. Again, a lot of these comics that have been coming out recently have been kind of dystopian futures. But the idea is the government, there's a lot of people in, in, in the world or uh, in the country that want to live without technology. That technology is the root of all evil and they want to be done with it and they want to get off the grid. So the, uh, the government sets off zone A and zone B and there's a wall. And anybody who wants to live without technology goes over the wall. And they just live over there. Well, everybody who wants to keep living the life as it is stays on this side of the wall. So that's the general idea of what's going on here and how that affects people's lives. But within that, you have a snapshot of, of a few different people, a few different characters um, of what's going on. Um, the use of shapes and colors. Um, let see if I can even open this up and you can kind of see. It's not color. It's not black or white. It's this kind of greenish tint. Um, just it's it's very beautiful, and the one thing that keeps coming to mind with this is the simple fact that I don't think we are going to realize how good this book is until years from now. Um, where like the weight of this book is just it's just beautifully well written, and the art, and the drawings, and the storytelling, the visual storytelling, um, goes so so well along with the actual characterization of the people involved. Um, it's just a beautiful comic. It's just really, really great. Um, I think this, um, when it's all said and done at the end of the year, it, we're going to hear a lot of stuff about this. And I'm excited about the, the other three. Um, that's really all I got to say about that. It's just very beautiful. Of course, you know, as comic books do, there's twists and turns and there's, you know, they're, they're laying out this world and, and what's going on. So I think you'd really, really enjoy this book. Like I said, I read it twice, not because I, I didn't get it, but because it was it was very dense. It was dealing with a lot of topics um, that we deal with now in our current society, um, but it's also dealing with it in a way that's easy to manage, but also just like so, just just beautiful. And, and the pictures were telling a story along with the words were telling a different story, but they were going so well together um, that even right now I'm having words, having a hard time finding the words to give this book, but I do give it um, a very high praise. Um, so if you're looking for something to read, The Seeds and Nascenti, David Aha, it's definitely a way to go. I'm really glad this came out. I'm really glad to see um, these guys working together. And I'm really excited to see where this goes from here on out. So if you read The Seeds, what did you think about it? Am I off base with my analyzation of what's going on? Um, what should I read next? What are you currently reading? Um, anything like that, you can put in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe or share or tell your friends. And I'll be back tomorrow reading another comic. Have a great day, guys.